Hi guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. We're just down at uh, Bob's shop and we're getting ready to um, do some work on the countertops. Uh, Chris was supposed to get some footage when he was down here, but um, like a couple of little kids, the boys did not get what, done what they were supposed to do as far as footage for me. But anyway, I will just show you what's done so far. Um, now we ended up, we were going to get plywood. We've always used plywood for uh, the countertop, but uh, with the cost of plywood, I got the particle board this time. It was extremely cheap in comparison to um, the plywood. And apparently this is the industry standard anyway. Everybody uses particle board for the countertop and they say the adhesive will stick better to it. So um, anyway, he's got all of the pieces cut out here. This is the bathroom countertop. This is the kitchen one where the sink goes in the middle. This is the end piece that uh, it goes by the fridge. He's got the wood on the front of here. And um, this is the long piece for under the kitchen window. So he's got all of that done. He's going to sand them. Um, he's got to sand uh, the parts here where there's a ridge because otherwise that would show through the laminate. Um, get this all sanded up. And then when he um, does the laminate, he puts a bevel on this and then we'll stain this wood. And you can see how there's some beautiful knots in this wood too. So that'll be on the edge of the countertop and that'll show uh, through the stain, which I think would be really nice. So anyway, we've got uh, the two rolls of laminate here. So we're gonna, Chris is gonna sand this up and, um, and then we'll uh, cut the laminate and glue it on. And I think we'll leave it to sit for today. Uh, I was actually, we were actually in the truck on the way to Red Deer to see the surgeon about my ankle. And uh, fortunately I checked my messages before we went. Well, we were just pulling onto the highway and my appointment was canceled for another month. So that'll be between seven and eight months walking on a broken ankle that won't heal. Um, before I even get an appointment to speak to the surgeon. So it's gonna be kind of an interesting year. Gonna make me cranky. Everything makes me cranky these days. Anyway, we're gonna get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends. watching what Chris was doing I didn't get uh, wasn't getting any video he's got um, this is the piece for under the kitchen window that's cut um, that piece over there is for the kitchen where the sink is gonna go in the middle he's just cutting the one for the bathroom right now and then the other piece um, for this 24 inch piece of uh, countertop that goes between the fridge and the stove will have to be cut out of this piece. That piece was just like an inch short of what we needed for this right here. But we had to get a second sheet anyway to do the bathroom. 
So we will have quite a bit left over of this one. We keep ending up with quite a bit of um, laminate left over from each project. So like I said, we'll end up with a laminate department. Really happy with this kind of To me, this looks a lot like natural soapstone. And it has the, um, I don't know if you can see it, it has the, the rougher finish. Not rough, but sort of bumpy texture. I guess we don't have enough width here, eh? No. That's not <laughs> uh, going to just go off the end or off that end. Um, off here and leave that big chunk? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, take it off this so corner be like and then we'll end up with a fairly big piece there left over. I was just saying to Chris that this piece here that wasn't quite big enough um, would make a good a uh, piece to do like a pop-up table somewhere or on the end of a countertop if you wanted some extra space and of course he made his face. Didn't really particularly like that idea. <laughs> he doesn't like a lot of my ideas. <laughs> and then of course these strips here are not garbage. They will uh, be cut in strips to do the side of the countertop. Um, like this piece here is in between the fridge and the stove, so you have to do the side um, that's facing the stove in the laminate. Put it right on there. And I think that might be the only one. The bathroom needs some on one side only because it's going to be exposed where the linen closet is, just a tiny bit. And then the other ones all have wood on the edge. draws it out on a piece of paper but he's done it a few times so he already had it in his head but um, this is going to be a leftover corner so that two foot by 26 and a half inch piece he's cutting out of that end because if he had taken it out of this corner then you'd have this little strip here and then this corner there by taking it out of that corner he, he end up with a really nice long rectangular piece that um, will be really useful somewhere uh, whereas it would have been rendered almost completely useless if we had cut out of that corner. And it'll make it a lot easier to roll this up and store it too. So Chris scores it over and over again with that special tool and then just leans it over the edge like this. And then it'll start to break. And then do the same with this side. And then you see how this is sort of like raw edge, but that'll get routed off. Pretty happy with the color of this stuff and the texture. So that's
that's all our pieces cut now. This is left over. And those two pieces are left over. And you just know I'm gonna have to try and think of something to do with those. <laughs> so before we roll this up to store it, uh, Chris is measuring it and we're gonna mark the measurement on the outside of the roll so that if we um, are looking for something that we need, then we'll be able to know that it's the right size without unpacking it. So this is the bathroom piece we're gonna glue first. So Chris is just cutting the side piece for that end that's gonna be exposed a bit by the linen closet door. And then this piece that we rolled up and shrink wrapped has the size marked on it. And um, actually having the size marked on the one at home helped me decide which laminate to use because we found the box and it had the size marked on the outside of it too. And it wasn't going to be big enough to um, account for one sheet so I ended up just ordering this color because I preferred this. But I would have ordered the white if the sheet that we have at home would have been enough to keep me from having to do two sheets. And so when you do this, you, you actually put the adhesive on the wood and the laminate. Same with this, the adhesive goes on here and the laminate. And you let it sit for a bit and then you um, glue it on. Did we bring the paint sticks? Uh, maybe they're in the truck. Oh, okay. You'll understand the paint stick thing when we get to that stage. If you have a bunch of paint sticks, if you don't get them before you start this project. <laughs> Get the nice long ones for the five gallon pails. <clears throat> so you put the adhesive on, you don't stick it right away, you let it dry a bit and then you stick it on. Same with this. Put the adhesive on there, the adhesive it on there, you let it sit for how long, Chris? Usually? Well, you can touch it. <clears throat> yeah, until you can touch it so it's tacky. Do you want me to take this off here? Yeah, take it off. Okay. Ooh, is that ever stinky? I get migraines from stuff like that, so. Chris loves the smell of uh, black markers. One sniff and I get an instant migraine. Okay, what else we have to do? This one? Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to put two coats on here because it soaks in. Oh, right. Yeah, this stuff would soak in, wouldn't it? So, yeah, Chris, if you missed that, Chris was just saying because the glue soaks in so much like a sponge, um, sometimes you have to put glue on the Raw edges twice. So this, I think the particle board, it was less than a hundred dollars. My laminate was two hundred. So um, now Bob had the wood for here for the edge, so I didn't have to buy that. 
And um, so this is about $300 for all the countertops, the bathroom and the kitchen. So that's pretty economical. So Chris was just saying the test is to touch it. I think it's too dry myself, but he's going to put another coat on. It just seems weird to me that you can touch this and it's going to work. Like it seems to me like it's too dry. Here's Chris's bundle of paint sticks. probably will before he's done. <laughs> Always end up looking like a crime scene with him bleeding all over the place. They have a little roller this, but Yeah, you can get special rollers. Mm -hmm.
Oh, where is this? Stove? Here. It's stuff in my eyes now. Not you, the glue. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Not terribly. <laughs> I had my shower for this week. My excellent. <laughs> this, this fortnight. <laughs> you, you had your shower for this week last week. Uh, nice. <laughs> See how this is drying so quick? This is just soaking the glue up. Mm -hmm. Not dry enough to do another coat yet. Oh, okay. Just gotta stand and watch it dry. Oh, <laughs> all those fun things. Mm. Whatever you put. If it sags down, uh, if it sags down between, then it'll stick, right? here and back we should just flush flush okay because it's going to be tile along there okay and then we don't have to trim it as long as it's close yep it's here anyways and you got good on the end lots on the end okay so just let pressure off and then you put it down yeah just stick it there and just work them on Watch you don't uh, go on the edge because like razor sharp. See there? Put your razor. Got you. This should be fine here because that's the factory. See here? That's like a razor blade. Oh. Let me get this cooking. Okay. I wonder how this would work. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you have push with the. This one's even fatter, Chris. I don't know if that will help at all. Oh, that one's fatter. Yeah. Yeah, neither one of those. I could lay on it and just pull me back and forth on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> And a laminate, eh? Yep. So we don't want to route there. We just want to go. That's the bathroom, right? Yep. We don't want to route there. So I'll have to use the straight one here. Right. right. First, since mm -hmm. it's already in the. Yes, we wanted to do them. Do this one and then leave it in and do that one. And yeah. Wherever there's laminate on the ends, but. Uh, where else is there? The little one? Yeah, the little short one. Yeah, over there. And then the other long one that goes by the stove, ends by the stove. Can you write this right away or do you have to wait for the glue? I don't know, we'll let it sit a bit. Okay. I think you can see the finish on this countertop now. <sighs> a nice long piece of bathroom countertop anyway. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is 
no bathroom storage or counter space in a tiny house. Oh. It's just crazy with some of them. They have one of the little tiny cabins like this. And basically, it's all plumbing under there. Yeah. Or a pedestal. Yeah. <laughs> Second coat of adhesive on this side, and then the first coat on here. So I was busy visiting with Rita, and the boys got uh, all the tops on. Is this the long one that goes under the countertop, or the window, I should say? The bathroom one is in behind there. Um, so Chris is just changing the laid in the, the router to do this wood edge. Right this edge off. So exciting. I think you can see that finish now. It's a little bit bumpy, a little bit textured. Same stain that you used on that other one. Right? Yeah, especially the parts where it shows the little knots and everything. It'd be really pretty. Okay, right. go cut the pattern. that was a really good day at least got a major part of the countertops done the laminate is on the base and Chris has routed the edges so tomorrow he just has to 
um, sand the wood on the edge and put some stain on. At least get Dakota stain on it. It dries pretty quick so maybe he'll even get a couple on. But that was a major achievement for today. Really happy with that and I'm awesome, happy with the color. I think it looks awesome and it's going to look fantastic when we get it into the tiny house. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends and we'll see you next time.